In this video, I'm going to show you my favorite photo and video settings for the Phantom 4 Pro. Hello, hope you're having a great day. My name is Chris Mather and I'm the Chief Remote Pilot at Bendigo Aerial. Bendigo Aerial is a commercial drone operator certified by CASA. We hold a REOC, a Remote Operator Certificate, and we operate in Central Victoria, Australia. If you'd like to know more about our operations, check out this website link. So recently on Instagram, we had a Q&A session where other operators and my followers could ask me questions about commercial drone operations. And the number one question that everyone asked was, what is my favorite Phantom 4 Pro photo and video settings? So this video is all about that. I'm gonna show you my settings, which is generally what I use for approximately 80% of all commercial jobs. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, to start, we'll log in to our DJI Go app. Make sure the drone is connected and click Go Fly. We'll do the video settings first. So make sure the video icon is selected. We'll click on the settings, which is the three dashes and the three dots. And we'll go into the little cog icon, which is the video settings. So for by default, I'll have the histogram turned on. I'll leave it down there. Basically, I never trust the LCD screen or the tablet or laptop or the phone that I'm using. I'll always trust the histogram to make sure my photo or video is well exposed and in the right range for us depending on what sort of shot we're getting so i will always look at the histogram the lock gimbal while shooting is turned on afc is turned off the reason i turn it off for video is when i'm panning from ground to sky sometimes it will lose focus so for video i just prefer to touch the screen to focus and then take the shot so i disable that Video captions are off, overexposure warning is on. Basically what that means is it'll give you some zebra lines on your screen if you're overexposed, like that. And that means you know you're overexposed, so you can then correct it. Mechanical shutter is on. The AF focus assistant is turned on. Manual focus assistant is off. I will switch that on only from using manual focus, which I rarely do. Head LEDs auto turn off. So when I take a photo or video, the LEDs will turn off and there won't come be in the photo or there won't be any reflections of it. The grid, I always have grid and diagonals. The center point, I always use the frame and cross. And this is just basically for navigational purposes only. When I'm flying the drone, if I have a point of interest or something in the sky, a building, a tower, and I want to fly to that location, I will use the center point as the reference and navigate my way to that location. It's great for waypoints and tap fly. Picking threshold is closed, file indexing is continuous. All that means is just a different sequence in numbers. It goes up by one every time you save to the SD card and that way you have less chance of overriding existing photos on your computer. And again, you can save all these into your favorite custom settings, which I do on my other Phantom 4 drones. We'll click the video button. The video size, I always use 3840 by 2160. I only film in 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second. If I'm filming 30 frames per second, I will then slow it down slightly to 24 frames per second in post, just to remove some of the shakes or jitter in the footage and just give it a little bit more smooth action. 60 frames for some slow motion. Video format, I use MP4. Uh, just my customers prefer MP4. That's the only reason I use MP4. I use NTSC, even though I'm in Australia and Australia's PAL, I just use NTSC. That just gives me more frame per second options. So I can use 30 frames and 60 frames. I believe when I go to PAL, I think it switches to 50 frames per second. The white balance, I always pick cloudy or sunny. If it's kind of a sunny day, it'll be a sunny option. If it's cl there's cloud cover, I'll choose cloud. I never use auto or any of the other settings. The style, I always use custom and I use minus one, minus one, minus one. 
and that's because we color correct our footage. I have my own LUTs which work well with the minus one, minus one, minus one setting for me. If you have no intention of color correcting, just pick standard or landscape, you're good to go. The color profile for this aircraft, for the Phantom 4, I always use D Cine Log. I used to use D Log, but I found the D Log was just way too flat, it lost a lot more colors. So by default, I will use D Cine Log. However, if the customer wants it in a D Log or any other format, we can change. If you have no intention of color correcting the footage and you just want it, what the drone sees, you can just pick none. But D-Cine like works well for us. Encoding format, I use H.264 and then the actual camera settings. So I never shoot in auto, I always shoot in manual. I drop the ISO always to 100 and the shutter speed is always double the frame rate. In 30 frames per second, I will use 1 over 60. If I'm using 60 frames per second, I'll use 1 over 120, so the shutter speed. And then I'll use the aperture to correct where needed. Now, as you can see, even when I get to 11, I'm still overexposed. So what I would use is actual ND filters. I use Polar Pro filters, and I'll use that to correct the footage and make sure it's not overexposed. But generally, I like to stay around the 5, 5.6, maybe yeah, 4.5 to 5.6 area. For photo settings, we're going to make sure the photo icon is selected and then click on the settings icon. We're going to pick the photos gear icon. By default, I'll have the histogram turned on. That way I know the photo is exposed correctly or depending on the shot I'm taking, I can use the histogram to pick my correct levels. The lock gimbal while shooting is on. The AFC, the Auto Focus Continuous, is turned on. For photos, I like to have this on because then I know that the photo is in focus and I don't need to touch the screen to take focus, unlike the video settings where I switch it off. The video captions is off. The overexposure warning, I turn on. The mechanical shutter, I turn on. The AF Focus Assistant, I turn on. So what that means is when I Click a location to take focus, it'll zoom in so I know that it, that is actually in focus and then it'll zoom back out. The manual focus assistant is turned off, again I will switch that on if I was using manual focus which I rarely do. Head LED auto turn off is turned on, again the grid, I use the same grid and diagonals for photo. The center point is the same, frame and cross. Anti-flicker, I have it on auto. Picking threshold is closed. File index mode is continuous. For the actual photo setting, I will always use AEB, auto exposure bracketing. I generally take three photos. Uh, if I'm doing a panorama with five different shots to make a panorama, I will take three photos per shot. If I was taking a single photo of a block of land, a house, some sort of a property or real estate, I'll use the five photos, and then in Lightroom, I'll combine those five photos into one HDR, and that'll give me a lot of options to edit that photo. The image ratio, I generally pick 3-2, which I believe is the full sensor from the Phantom 4, which is around the 20 megapixels. The 4-3, I believe it's 18 megapixels or 16 megapixels, but generally 4-3 or 3-2, they're the general options I use. I rarely use 16 by nine. If I want a 16 by 9 photo, I'll do that in Lightroom or Photoshop and crop it. I always shoot in RAW. The white balance, again, I'll pick cloudy or sunny. Again, you can fix all this in Lightroom. The style, I don't think it really makes a difference for uh, photos. It's the same settings as my video, minus one, minus one, minus one. But again, I can fix that in post as well with Lightroom. The color, it's still set on D-Cine like, or I'll just pick none. Again, I can fix that in Lightroom. And finally, I want to show you my gimbal settings for the Phantom 4 Pro. If you click on the settings button on the top right with the three dots, click on the gimbal icon. It can be found in the advanced settings, gimbal camera advanced settings. And this is my favorite setting. The gimbal pitch smoothness are set to 19. The gimbal pitch EXP are set to 50. And the gimbal your synchronized follow, I have that switched on. To me, this gives me the most smooth 
action of the camera. When I'm panning from left to right or up and down, the camera sl slowly lifts up or goes left and right, and the footage is nice and smooth. And that's it. That's my favorite Phantom 4 Pro video and photo settings. I hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, 80% of the time, we will start with these settings. There's no one setting that fits all scenarios. It all depends on the customer and what they want. But generally, when we start the drone up, these are our default settings. Now, if you have anything different, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to read them. And that's a wrap. Thank you for sticking with us. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing with your family and friends. It would help us out greatly. And again, thank you for your support. Until next time, fly safe. Thank you.